So of course everything's in 3D, so you do things are a lot more interesting. Wow. Different actions like you know zoom in, zoom out, rotate left, rotate right, tilt up, tilt down, can all really just be one action. This is David Holes, one of the co-creators of The Leap, a small rectangular device with the humble goal of revolutionizing how we interact with our computers. My face during David's demo says it all. It is mind-blowing. You look like a wizard. You actually look a I, lot like you've got a whole wizard vibe. a wizard. <laughs> Of course, you know, we still like to do simple things as well. So in this case, we're sort of doing a, a normal touch, a normal touch application, mm -hmm. and our software is not actually communicating to this program directly. What it's doing is it's telling the computer, "Okay, you have a touch screen, and here I'm actually touching the screen right now, and I'm touching it there or there." So that way we can get really nice backwards compatibility with you know things like Windows 8 and all that new sort of tablet stuff coming into the computer. Oh, so that's kind of fun. That's very clever. The Leap became a geek sensation when its teaser demo on YouTube showcased everything the gadget could do. The Leap device will initially support Windows and Mac and then Linux soon after. The company plans to ship in February 2013 for $70. Now that may sound like a lot, but it's less than some precision gaming mice can cost. This device is part of a revolution in the idea of input. If the mouse changed everything, you can assume that the next user interface is really all about the user. Like Google's Project Glass, which would let you wear a device and share moments as you're living them. And then there's Microsoft's Kinect, the motion technology that arguably started the body control trend. Previous? Kinect recently got expanded voice controls for gameplay and menu selection. So with, you know, Kinect, people have gotten used to the idea of using your whole body or big arm gestures. You're, you're, are you talking about a much more precise interaction? Uh, absolutely. So we, we think that uh, if this is going to be a genuinely better way for people to interact with computers, then they have to be very precise, subtle, nuanced movements and interactions. And that way, you have all of that power um, and this feeling of connectedness, which we want to achieve, mm -hmm. but you don't get tired. So far, the biggest question about the leap is what's the tech inside? I was determined to find out. So I know you guys have been famously cagey about the technology, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't grab you by the shoulders and ask you, what's in there? Well, at, at the end of the day, it's based on a fundamentally new approach to motion sensing. It's never been used before in academia or commercially. Totally. What's in there, though? Well, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's, it's, it's... Michael, please. You're, you're, are you talking about... Right now, it's a very technical process. Obviously, but... D it, Tell me how... A lot of technical know-how. Like I said, it's a, it's a fundamentally new approach that's never been used before. Okay. Absolutely. So maybe like LiDAR, though? That? Well, <laughs> people will find out soon enough. I'm sure that as soon as we, uh, as soon as we start shipping these in February, people will be ripping those boxes open. It's not, not LiDAR, not structured light. Really, nothing, nothing that most people are guessing. I only have one question. What's in there? Well, some magical <laughs> dust. It really is fundamentally new. And uh, it's really exciting to us because we're at essentially the very first stage of what's going to be decades of innovation and improvement on this new approach. So there's, there's, there's plenty of room to grow, and the leap is, is only going to get better over time. Maybe I'm like rotating while moving. Even though the guts are still a mystery, the company says the leap is for everyone. They're working with third party developers for all kinds of uses. 26,000 or more developers have applied to create content for the leap. Expect an app store that could let specialized users like engineers use the leap to build 3D models of cars, or scientists who might want to visualize complex protein structures. And of course, the App Store will include important apps for you and me. You can, I mean, the possibilities seem endless, which I'm sure you know. If I have this and a uh, simple piece of software and a 3D printer, like, um, I own the world. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, muscle me out of the air, 3D print it, bring it out behind you, and you got it. Yeah. Boom, I'm a wizard. Boom, too. you're a wizard, yeah. Yes. You can will things into reality.